What's good, y'all? Hey, Zo, back with another video. Hope y'all doing well out there. So in this video, I want to talk about why you get no support from your friends, family, co-workers, classmates, whatever, followers, why people don't support you, all right? I got three reasons I'm sharing this video. Now, before I name these three reasons, even if you notice these signs in your life, don't let that stop you. If you see the lack of support from your friends, family, because of these reasons, don't let that stop you. Keep doing what you got to do. Keep getting better. Keep moving towards your vision. Don't let the lack of support right now stop you. Things can change for you quickly. All right. Now, the first reason why people may not be supporting you is because majority of people are followers, bro. You got to realize that majority of people have a herd mentality. Whatever's hot, whatever's trending, whoever winning, that's who they that's who they're going to support. Y'all see this a lot of time in sports, you know, whatever team win a championship, all of a sudden everybody a fan. They hop on the bandwagon. See this in music, whatever artists got the hottest songs out, everybody hop on the bandwagon, start liking their music, start sharing their music, start following their relationship, like just start supporting them in every way they can. That's just how it be, bro. A majority of people are followers and have a herd mentality. So just keep this in mind. Many people may not be supporting you because you ain't build your core up, your core supporters. So build your core supporters up and you're going to see momentum. You're going to start seeing more people just start supporting you because they see other people supporting you. That's how I go, y'all. Majority of people are followers, bro. So just keep that in mind. Next reason why people you know, people you don't know, not supporting you too, is because they might just don't want to see you win. People who are miserable, bro, hate their life, not bettering themselves, not chasing their goals and dreams. They want you to feel the same way they feel. Like, for example, y'all, I'm going to flip it, actually. Instead of saying the misery loves company, happiness loves company, too. Like me, on my journey right now, self-improvement, trying to just do better and be better every day, I want other people to feel how it feels to see your life transform. I want other people to see how it feels to see small dreams manifesting. I want people to feel that way. So when I see somebody chasing their goals and dreams, I'm going to support them more than likely because I know how it feels to see them dreams come true. Not all of them, but some of them I've manifested, bro. I know how it feels and I want other people to feel the same way. You know what I'm saying? So I'm more likely to encourage people because what? Happiness loves company too. I want you to be happy if you're with me. I want you to feel this happiness. But misery loves company too. So you've got miserable people around this world who literally won't support, won't support you because they're miserable. They don't want you to experience happiness. Could be a friend, could be family, could be anybody, bro. But they're not going to support you because they know it's going to make you feel good, bro. And they don't want you to feel good. They want to hit the dislike button. You know what I'm saying? They want to hit the dislike button to make you feel bad, make, it, make you feel miserable. So you can feel how they feel. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind, bro. A lot of people miserable around here. And they don't want you to experience happiness, so they ain't going to support you. This could be your closest homie, honestly, y'all. So just be mindful of that, y'all. Now, the third reason why people may not be supporting you is because they ain't getting nothing from it, bro. You're not adding no value to their life, bro. You got to make sure whatever you're doing, you're getting better and better and better at it. You know what I'm saying? For example, me on YouTube, I got to make sure my video is getting better and better and better if I want to continue to get supports. You can't be putting out low quality music, low quality videos, low quality products, low quality services, whatever the case, and expect to get support. You got to put out stuff that's actually helpful to people, stuff that actually can add value to somebody's life. You know what I'm saying? So to keep that in mind, bro, maybe you just got to work on the passion you got. You got to work on getting better at it, work on your craft, work on your business, work on your marketing. Like, you know, work on making it better and better and better. And you'll start to see more support come in, bro. Y'all let me know your thoughts down below. There's three reasons why you may not be getting no support. Share the video. Subscribe if you're new. I'm going to holler at y'all in the next one, man. Peace out.